doodles it's smurf here hopefully it's not too noisy in this video recording the highway seems to be quite particularly noisy today so now has come the time to start working on this and I have to decide which color I'm going to start with and I'm just going to do the outside edge of these feathers and maybe some of these today. I'll see how much time I've got. So I think I'll just start with green gold. So I've just got my pencils on a little tray next to one of my desks here. Tight for space. I hope that changes one of these days. That'd be nice. So, as I said in the previous video, I'm quite nervous about it, so hopefully it'll be alright. I'm just going to start going and see what happens. I might actually grab another two shades. We'll see what works together on the scrap paper over here. So this is green gold. And I'm not even going to try and blend them or anything on the paper here. I'm just going to see what happens as I go along. Alright, so that's cool. I've got two lighter colours and a medium colour. So I'm just going to start out with my medium colour and then try to use them for... I don't know. I'm just going to go with medium colour first and I'll darken up the bits I want to darken up with the darker colour and lighten the other bits up with the lighter colour. So I'm just going to be very, very gentle. Where do I want to start? I think I might start up here and move my way that way. So I may... end up fast forwarding this. Because otherwise, it will be a very, very long video. Um, and I'm sorry that my camera setup's not the best for while I'm colouring in because my arm gets in the way. Um, but I do have, I think it is called like a boom. Um mount coming that I can mount to the side of my desk here and I'll be able to use my cell phone for videoing instead and pull it in closer and pull it away and move it wherever I want it kind of thing. But that is coming from China I believe. I bought one on AliExpress so I'm just gonna change the angle of myself so you can <clears throat> see what I'm up to. I'm just going, this bit's going to end up screwed up no matter what I do, I think, when I come in here. I'll just be real gentle. There you go. Not too bad. So, my thoughts are with what I'm doing right now is just, if I put the mid-tone colour down first, I can... I'm very lightly with my pressure. I can build on the colours and figure it out as I go along. It looks like a little blue smudge there for some reason. Like, what am I getting a blue smudge from? My hands that dirty? I don't know. So. Yeah. So that's the idea. So what I will do, instead of um, boring you all absolutely, oh I want to swear, um, I was going to say S-H-I-T-L-E-S-S, -S. Um, 
So instead of boring you all that way, I will finish blocking in this medium colour and I'll come back to you. But what I'll do is But what I'll do out of interest is I will put a timer on um, or a, you know, stopwatch. Is that the one? Where is my clock? Why can't I find what I want? There we go. Got my clock. I'll put a stopwatch on and I'll let you know how long it took me when I press the record button. Again. All right, so I've got him this far and it has taken 17 minutes so far for me to get that far. Hopefully you can see that. And my very dirty, dirty phone. So, um, I thought I'd turn the camera back on and show you how gentle I'm being. Oh, shush, Lena. So, my lovely partner got offered a lamb. A baby sheep, right? He thought the person who was offering it to him meant, like, you know, a butchered lamb for lamb chops and whatnot and roast, blah, blah, blah. So he said, oh, yes, please. And the lady was like, oh, well, come pick it up. So we went round there and we picked it up. It was not a butchered lamb. It was a live little lamb. And he turned up and she's like, oh, here's your lamb. Hands him over this lamb with milk powder and a bottle. So we ended up with a lamb. I was... Um, how would I put it? Quite disgruntled. Um, we live in a rural town, so that's fine. But, uh, you know, so I inherited this little wee lawnmower. So we've had this little lawnmower in our backyard for a couple months now. And look, oh, I'll finish that. So I've blocked that in. Um, so we ended up with this little lawnmower in the backyard. So I named him Briggs and Stratton. And for those of you who don't know, a lot of lawnmowers have Briggs and Stratton engines in them. So his name's Briggs for short. Well, Briggs is a very silly wee lamb. And what did I do with that pencil? I want it back. Um, he's a very silly wee lamb. And he's got himself caught behind the woodshed. It's a little tight fit and there's a fence and the edge of the woodshed kind of thing, but not like, you know, there's like this much gap. Well, he's down there at the moment um, between like a concrete post uh, that holds the fence up. There's concrete posts. He's got himself smushed in between. So he's down the side of the... I'll just draw it here for you. He's, this is the side of the woodshed. Here's these little concrete posts like this. This is bird's eye view, guys. And the fence runs along there. And that's like the corner of the woodshed. He's gotten in here, zoomed in here, and he's stuck in here. And I can't get him out because I've got a stuffed back. So he's very patiently waiting for the next... I don't know how long he's been stuck down there, but he's got to wait another three hours before my partner turns home from work to get him out. So... Silly lamb. Because he's stuck, he's barring quite a bit. And he's driving me nuts. So I don't know if you can hear him um, through the audio or not. But if you can, that's why. It's Briggs. He's stuck. So there we go. I've just laid down very lightly uh, polychromos green gold 268. And if I remember, I'll put in the description which colours I'm using. Um, so that was the mid-tone that I've selected. And I've also selected Burnt Ochre 187 for the darker. If I want to make it darker. And I've got Dark Naples Ochre, if that's how you say it, or is it Orch? I don't know. Um, 184. So I thought I'd put my, my, 
my colour selections down at least. <laughs> It's a madhouse around here, I tell you. Now the dog's barking at the lamb. Luna? You're a crazy dog. Um, so I was also thinking while I was colouring in and the video camera was turned off that I have... I forgot to throw this in my little art haul, but I bought some extra jelly rolls because I like the white jelly rolls. And I got these from Ansel Stationery for AliExpress. Um, so I've got a couple different nib size white ones now, but it also came with the silver and the gold jelly roll. And I was just thinking maybe it would be nice to put embellishments on here. Now, I don't know. Oh, well, they're very nice, aren't they? I don't know how, like... With your colouring pages, is this what something that you want to do last? And just leave the spots that you want the embellishments in? Because I was thinking I could put, um, like, gold embellishments around these bits. Because that looks like it's supposed to look like a gem to me. So I could use pen here. Or not for such big ones. But I was thinking it might be nice to have the gold in these dots here. And perhaps around the very edge here. Anyway, let me know what's the drill with that colorists. Do I add the jelly roll embellishment type things last or what? Because I'm kind of keen to put them on there. But anyhow, so there's that thought. And yeah, I suppose I could block in some more colors rather than shading that now and kind of get a plan going. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. But, um, could keep it a nice, sweet little update video, or I could try and do some more. What do I want to do? All right, I want to look at my reference picture to start with. I'll put my reference picture up on the screen for you, so you can see what I'm looking at. I've got to find the right one with the feather. There it is. So... The image that I'm using as a reference should be in front of you right now. So, as you can see on the very edge of the um, of the sprays of the feather as they come out, they this is what inspired me to use the green gold as the main colour around the edges because obviously this isn't a traditional looking um, peacock feather, but I wanted to use the normal colour schemes that are in a peacock feather. So. There is a dark violet in the centre. We've got a whole lot of uh, kind of like browny, reddish. Almost like a goldeny colour around the eye of the peacock feather in the centre there. Um, so I could use that colour for some bulk. Or I could use some of the greens there instead. And put that creamy browny goldy color and around here and use the very main circular bit in the middle as the eye which might be a good idea so if that were the case then I would probably want to make this a, a very bright green color what bright greens have I got Maybe a combo like this, but with that very sparingly. We'll see how they look next to each other. I'm picking that would be the darkest one. What number is that? 163 Emerald Green. And then this colour here is probably more of a oh, light Pafello Green. Is that how you say that word? Pafello? Potato. I don't know. Um, funnily enough, it's number one six two. And then the green. Oh, we've done that one. The lighter green we've got here is obviously light green. One seven one. 
I think we'll go with that, but from what I can see on my reference picture, there is quite a turquoisey greeny colour that greeny blue is turquoise green or blue I can never figure out whether it's a green or a blue um, but I might need to add a little bit of turquoise into there too that might be nice but regardless I will block in my medium color very lightly because it's quite rich for that little trio too. So there we go, we'll take two, two trios today and I'll get those pumped in. I'll reset my clock. So I've been coloring in, since I started coloring in, it's been 27 minutes now. So I'll stop that, reset, start. And so I'll start up here. I'm just going to put a very light layer so that I leave myself room to decide whether I need to potentially mix some turquoise or something into this. But I'm just going to lightly, like so, block in a pile of this green on all of these feathers. And then that might be it for today. So doodles, I've finished uh, putting my first layer of green down. Now, uh, it took me 57 minutes according to my iPhone with the timer on it. Uh, I was, however, watching a live stream at the same time. Um, anyhow, I did run into one little problem. It's not exactly a problem per se, but uh, for me, sometimes I find it hard. Um, I've put green in these areas here because I could not work out whether I was supposed to or not because as you can see there's feathers running down here so there should be feather in that gap and here as well. I'm not so sure about this side because I can't see another feather up here so I've left that one open. Um, this one here seems to be part of that feather because it's got the edge here. And then this bit here, there's feathers up here. So I've coloured that one in green too. So I've just done that in the like, negative space areas that I figure there's another feather. Like, I might need to put some green in there too. I'm not sure because I can't see because that goes off the page if you get what I mean. So hard, tough decision making with that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all the time I have for colouring in this book today. I've got my own art to work on, I've got videos to edit and all of that kind of jazz. So thank you for joining me as I learn to use my polychromos and um, I'll put up the colours that I have used in the description for anybody who perhaps has the same book and wants to colour along per se. So yeah, thanks guys, and until I see you next time, keep on doodling.